going Liv Morgan. Me and Lewis are going Liv Morgan uh, as the new champion. Uh, let's get into the Intercontinental Championship match between Sami Zayn, Chad Gable, and Bronson Reed. Uh, these guys have been interchanging, especially Sammy, and ever since the heel turn with Chad Gable, it's him and Sammy. Now, Bronson Reed has interjected himself into the picture. He was off on Elimination Chamber when he was supposed to be in the Chamber match at some point. I, be- I believe he was. Um, he wasn't at the pay-per-view. All this stuff going on. Uh, well, I, did he? Was he at WrestleMania? No. I don't, I don't believe he was at WrestleMania. So it's like now he's finally getting back into the swing of things in the mid-card thing. Uh, Lewis has been clamoring for Bronson Reed to get an opportunity <laughs> and he's back on uh he's back in a big time match here um in a triple threat between the feuding Sami Zayn and Chad Gable who do you guys have winning this one um for, for becoming the either retaining or becoming the new Intercontinental champion see I, my heart wants to say Bronson Reed and I don't know. This one's a tough one. This one's a, like a toss up because it's like, I mean, I don't know with this heel Gable and I don't know. I feel like they're just going to keep this whole him and crapping on Alpha Academy going on for a bit longer. So I don't know if him winning the title is either going to enhance that and mm-hmm. keep that going or is it just going to, does it even matter? And he just ends up losing his group. I don't know. Um, and then Sammy, I feel like it's kind of like the, what Brian said. The factor in is like you know he just got this title at WrestleMania. Is he really going to have this short of a I reign? Mean, he right just now? Beat, he just he just beat Gunther. He just beat Gunther. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that's supposed to mean no, something. No, <laughs> no, 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 that guy. Yeah, Gunther. Like yeah. this is the one match where like <laughs> <they> could, <laughs> this is the one match where they could either they could go either way. But mm-hmm. in the, I think the big factor for me is like. Is Sammy really going to lose the title this soon into his title reign? What does he have? Like what two defenses? I guess maybe one on Raw and one at. Did he have one at Backlash? Um, no, nah, he didn't. Um, I, I think his title, his defenses have just been on uh, Raw. Raw, right? Because when he yeah, beat, that, that he beat Chad Gable, Gable, he beat um somebody else. He put the title he on beat, for. He beat Bronson Reed. He beat both of them for the title. Uh, uh, he put the title on the line. I don't think the one against Bronson was for the title. Because they've had like a that bunch was... of matches. They've had a bunch of singles. But I know mm. obviously Chad had the one, you know, in front of, you know. Um, Sammy's family. Sammy's wife. <laughs> and, you know, in Montreal. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, I don't know. Um, um, you know what? Screw it. I'll just go Bronson Reed. Yeah, go Bronson Reed. Yep. Well. To show respect to, 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 to the man formerly known as Walter, I'm <laughs> going to pick Sami Zayn. J- just for the just for just for the fact, like like Daniel just said, <laughs> the man just ended the longest the longest reign of, of the uh for the Intercontinental Championship. The man who passed honky tonk man, that guy <laughs> who's who's about to ring, win King of the Ring. So, so based upon that respect, I'm going. I'm going Sami Zayn. And to focus on the story, I think, um, like, like, like you said, Lewis, they're gonna keep. They're gonna draw this thing out with Chad Gable and, and, and Alpha Academy of him of him berating them. Because think about it, if he wins the because if he wins the title now, well, what's there to berate them about? Because he had initially when he turned heel, he said that they were gonna help him win. Who help him um, win the uh, Intercontinental title? And if he has the Intercontinental t- Championship and he's still like and he's still like berate, berating them, at the end of the day, I mean, it's like he's still he's he's still a champion. He, he uh, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> excuse but, me. Uh, at the end of the day, he's still at the end of the day, he's still he's still a champion. So I still think they're gonna t- they're gonna tell that story until eventually, hopefully, the the Creed brothers get involved and we get the, get the real Alpha Academy that we've been that a lot we've been uh, waiting for. Mm. But um, um, I think, but I think. If Bronson Reed is gonna win, I know he's still a, I know he's still a heel, but I say, but I would love for him to do it just, just one on just one on one, because he's one of the, he's one of these he's one of these guys that some um, similar to, to uh, Braun, Braun Strowman and, and and others, he he he's one of these guys that does, actually mm-hmm. like I I remember I always mentioned how I saw him live saw saw how saw how he, how he moves for a big for a bigger guy, 
you know, he's someone he's someone that you want to you know keep your eye on. And I think it, it will mean more for him if he wins if he wins a one on one as opposed to being in a triple threat, even though he's a heel. So based on all that, I'm going Sammy. This is a tough one. Yeah, because as much as I want Chad Gable to win the Intercontinental Championship and get his moment in the sun. And I do think there's a way to continue his heel run and continue berating and maybe say, hey, I won the Intercontinental title. Maybe Otis tries to help and then doesn't work, and then he, Chad ends up winning anyway. And then he can still be like, hey, screw you guys. I want to get the Ivy Nile and uh, uh, the Creed brothers, and this is the new Alpha Academy. I could still see him some way doing that. Um, triple threat matches, I think that's the easiest way to do a, t- a title switch. And if Bronson Reed was going to win, it would be cool to see him because it's just like – he just he just takes the opportunity and wins the match. Like I, mm-hmm. I like Sammy and Chad take each other out, and I can see Bronson Reed coming off with a splash, <laughs> landing on both of them and taking in them out. Saudi in, in Saudi and winning the title. I mean, and having that moment that people think that he should have. We all think that he's good and should have that moment. Remember that match with Gunther and stuff like that. His stuff in NXT. Um, we could see the respect of Sammy playing in a part, and I think that's where I'm kind of leaning to. But I'm not. I feel like this is again. This can go either way. And um, is it time for Chad Gable? And he just won on Raw, so it's like I don't know. That's never a good indicator of a person winning on Raw and then going into the weekend and then winning the title. So it's like I don't think that Chad is going to win. Um, Bronson Reed having these moments, I feel like he hasn't had enough momentum to push himself into that title picture to win it. I want to go Chad Gable, but I'm just going to have to go Sami Zayn. I don't think you end a guy who defeated Gunther in that extensive reign without some hook or crook happening with, like, Chad Gable. I think Chad Gable's the guy to beat him. I don't think it's on this night, though. I think that's the I think that's the issue there. And I, I want Chad Gable to win the title right now badly, but I just don't see them taking it off uh, Sami at this moment. And see, I, I could, <laughs> I could see, because you know how but a P, Otis but had a PLE like that, like King of the Ring, where it's in Saudi. That's where you make those type of title changes happen, and then you can kind of figure out, figure it out what to do. But it's like I just don't see them taking it off Sammy because, as we all been saying, even at WrestleMania, he doesn't need it. <laughs> he doesn't need it. He doesn't. But, um, he doesn't. It, see, it, my, my thought, my thought process is like with that little segment with Otis going to see Sammy. You know, that could be like Otis trying to be like, oh, no, no, I'm sorry. And then come the PLALE, he screws him. He kind of interferes himself again, helping Chad win. And that kind of just like continues the story. But I think uh, the factor I was forgetting is um, Sammy's, you know, roots. You know, he's he um, speaks um, Arabic and stuff. So I feel like. Mm-hmm. Him getting in the win over there whoa, 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 is actually whoa. could have the could be the could be the curse of the hometown kid. Losing. But he's, it's not his hometown though. That's the thing. It's not his hometown. No, no, it's not his hometown. He, 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 he just he, he just speaks the language. He, yeah. he, 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 he just speaks the language. So I I, I kind of see a little bit of a um, what was his name? Uh, Mansoor. Mansoor <laughs> happening where they're like, hey, one of our people's. <laughs> and so, ah, as, mm, see, now I'm reconsidering. I think I might have to go Sammy too. <laughs> I think yeah. it's Sammy, man. I, like, I, I, I can't, Sammy. Even, be, I can't even be mad because it's like Sammy. I just don't see the run ending yet. I just don't see the run ending yet. Unfortunately, Bronson is just so I want, damn strong. It's like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't I don't know what it is. I'm just What do you think this is, Lewis? 1985 with no, all the big guys. It's not even that. that. It's not even that. It's not even that he's just big. It's I don't know. There's something about this man's finisher that impresses me so much. I don't know it's the why. Bam Bam Bigelow splash. <laughs> no, he used to do a flip. He used to do a back flip, didn't he? No, just oh, the moon. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. no, 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 no. Like Lewis is saying, now you if you see it live, it is very impressive. No, Dude, it's, no, 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 it's no, not it's just one, one. One, he's doing it off one foot. It looks like all the time. It doesn't look like he has balance at all. It literally looks just like. <laughs> mm, yeah. It's just like. 
Bro, imagine somebody that big falling on top of you from that height. It's like, Jesus Christ, how are you not cracking? I'm rolling, I'm rolling, I'm rolling out the ring. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm doing. <laughs> That's the counter to that move, wrestling. Yeah. If anybody's watching, anybody you, you pull a Joe, you pull a Samoa just Joe, you roll just out the ring. <laughs> <laughs> just roll out the ring. Why are we taking the splash from a 400 pound man? Why are we doing that? Hey, he's three uh, something, all right? <laughs> three something. Nah, but he's big as hell, and, and coming yeah, off yeah. that top rope, that move when they do the replay and they slow it down, it's, it's like, oh, like, right 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 like, no, <laughs> oh, nah, it's definitely, definitely a uh, impactful move. But uh, we're all going Sammy to retain. Yeah. Um, continuing the story, and Bronson Reed's going to get his opportunity down the line. Now, that is definitely going to happen. He's young; he has time. He just has to stay healthy, hopefully, and not get the injury bug that WWE yeah. has at the moment. Uh, but we're all going Sammy Zayn to retain. Uh, let's get into the main event. Um, Undisputed WWE Championship, Cody Rose.